Rich Zach and I, we have a uh, very fearful case on deck right now, so we're going to go over some of the very first basic things that we do to start bonding and building a uh, relationship with the dog. Hey, I'm making a move. This dog's a black lab. He is fearful, skittish, nervous, timid, scared. He has tried to bite me three times. Uh, he got his teeth on me. The one thing about these uh, pet labs is that they've never been taught to bite, taught to engage, things like this. Don't panic if you're training a dog and the dog puts his teeth on you for a momentary second. Clearly address the situation, deal with it safely, stop it, but quickly redirect and move forward, guys. If it's a tag out of fear, it's a lot different than a, than a directed bite. At the same time, a directed bite is a lot different from an attack, okay? Don't ever forget that. If you push a dog into the deep water on training, push a dog into his uncomfortable situation, a tag can happen. But let me show you something. This dog is very fearful. So first thing we do, work the lock a little bit. We're gonna go into his kennel. He's going to avoid me. You'll see here in a second. He's gonna sit there, he'll probably look away. He knows it's his turn. He's already put himself in the far back corner, right there. He's watching me through the corner of his eye. It's really important what you're gonna see me do here. First, I'm gonna present the equipment, the leash, okay? I'm gonna put it down like that. He can smell it. He doesn't need to put his nose on it. He knows it's there. And second, talk to the dog. Don't. Don't make the dog surprised you're touching him. You will get bit. Talk to him. That's a good boy. Super. One stroke. Good. Two stroke. Super. Three stroke. Third stroke. Touch your collar a little bit. Shake it. Good boy. And guess what? Lesson one done. Get up. Leave the leash there. Walk out of the kennel. Close the door. Do everything you would normally do. Lock it. Walk away. Now you'll see when I'm training with this dog, all the other dogs in the kennel are on edge, okay? Everybody's watching me. Everybody's watching that dog because he's unstable. The dogs know this. So, it's been about five minutes. We're going to go right back to the kennel. The leash is still in there. If the dog was chewing the leash up, don't leave a leash, okay? You'll see me go back in now. Continue to talk, okay? I, I'm just talking right now for white noise. Normally, I'm, I'm dead silent. I don't really say a lot at all, okay? The only time you hear me talk with a dog like this is so they know that I'm here and they don't get spooked when I touch the dog. Super. Stroke. Good. Stroke. Super body. And manipulate the leash a little bit. Super. Good. Stroke. Lesson done. Walk out of the kennel. Close the door. Very important. Desensitizing, guys. Been about five minutes. Broke another uh, dog over there. Go back. Manipulate the locks. Talk to him. He knows I'm coming back in. He can see me, even though he's acting like he doesn't. Trust me, he can see everything going on. He can smell, he can hear. And now for this time, what I'm gonna do is a little bit different. So now I come back in the kennel, I just sit here. And normally if I wasn't videoing, I'd be dead silent. I would just sit here, make a little noise, just pry to touch, so I don't scare the dog. He can hear it and then touch, he associates pretty quick. See when I touch, watch. See the nerves? It's, it's, it's a problem. So let's talk about it. All right, I could give this dog all the love in the world. I could flick a hundred treats at him. He won't take them. I could sit here and pet him all day. It's not going to move him forward. Right now, I'm simply desensitizing my value to him so I'm not spooking the dog, and I'm letting him associate me as much as possible, coming and going, coming and going. No control, no obedience, no tension, no friction, right? Then when I put a slip lead on him, I'm going to start to teach him my presence equals leash equals freedom. You say, what about dog training? What about sit down, stand, and uh, heal? Who cares? The, the dog will lay here. This is a big problem. This is our number one issue, right? Fear, timidness, shyness, being reserved, all these problems. Now, let's talk about black labs for a minute. We get a tremendous amount of labs at Richside Canine. All, almost all that come here for training are because of behavioral issues, mental clarity issues. The dogs are overbred, guys. I've seen labs coming here that are absolutely dangerous. I mean, straight up man eaters, okay? Dog, labs that would make you think they're like some kind of son of Satan. I mean, crazy dogs. But this is the more typical lab that we're getting right now, a ton of them. Shy, nervous, scared, timid. Um, this is hard, guys. This is not like, you know, pet smart dog training stuff. It's a lot of repetitions. Super. Nothing I can do right now other than being with this dog and then very quickly we're going to get the dog moving. The value of moving a skin, skin, scared, timid dog. Get the dog moving. Redirect the dog. And um, keep the dog on the move as much as possible. Don't let him settle.
So I put the leash on the dog. You can see he's still in that position. Um, listen, I like to be as open as possible, but there is some things that, you know, me putting the leash on the dog, it's, it's a high uh, it's a game cat and mouse. You gotta be careful. And there's some things that as dog trainers, you don't need to show everything. There was no tension, no friction, nothing bad happened, but if there was gonna be an accidental bite, that's where it's gonna be, and you don't need to put that on video, so dog trainers beware. Now, he'll stay there. I could walk all over here. Flexi leashes, everybody hates them. Everybody busts my balls for using them. I love flexis. Um, I love training with flexis. I have some clickers that I've super glued to the top of flexis. Did I say clicker? Yeah, I say clicker. Give me a clicker, a flexi, and an e-collar, you'll see some magic. So I'm gonna give a little bit of pressure on the leash. He's on a flat collar, flat collar on. Hey! And now, I'm making a movie. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on this leash, okay? A little pull, and release. He looks up, he's acknowledging, and there we go. That's a good sign. Super. And I'm gonna go over here and play. He's gonna most likely run back in the kennel. Predictable, okay? And he's gonna go back to that same corner where he had comfort. Guys, you've got to take your time, okay? I could rip him out of the kennel, I'm gonna accomplish nothing. Little pull. Pressure on, release. This way, there's no tension, leash is unlocked. Little pressure, release. I don't need to talk, I don't need to say here, come, heal, foos, none of this silly stuff. He doesn't know what it means anyway. He can go to that corner, I'm, not, I'm, I'm fine with that. I just want him out of the kennel. He can see the other dogs, and he'll run back to the kennel. That's okay. Because guess what he's doing? He's moving. That's all that matters. That's all we care about. That was two reps of pressure on, and he came out. We're, we're learning a lot here, believe it or not. So let me, so you can see this. I'm sorry about that. A little bit of pressure. Let me step over here. And just like that. That was less pressure, he's up. A little bit, he's got his foot on there, no problem. Don't let him win. But we're also not ripping him. Good. See the fear. It's okay. So I just fixed the leash. It was around his paw. I just gave it a little side pressure there to pull it off. Everywhere he moves, I don't care. Now watch these other dogs. These other dogs aren't barking or whining. They're all staring at him. They're unsure because he's uneasy. Now what I did was, when he came out, I locked the flexi. So guess what he can't do now? Can't go back in his kennel. So this was a third rep out. And now he's going to stay out here with me in maybe a while. They're not quiet. I'm telling the other dogs to zip it. I don't want them barking and scaring me. This is important. I cannot let him dictate this through pressure on his part. I give pressure, he complies. He cannot turn pressure on to win. Now, is this dog training like you'll see at PetSmart and things like this? No. And I'm talking way more. I'm, I'm normally dead quiet right now. But I want to show the process. This is not pretty. This takes a lot of reps and a lot of time. But I can only move this dog forward by using pressure on, pressure off. He will not take treats. He won't take affection. He's tried to bite me and take an affection. If you think he'll take a toy right now, think again. So again, no treats, no toys, and he won't take affection. What do I have to do? Redirect the dog and keep him moving forward. So again, here I'm a little bit of pressure. Relax and lock. I've just now decreased his ability to move by about 12 inches. Okay, and we're keeping him close. He wants nothing to do with me. Doesn't matter. I cannot let him dictate anything. That's it, guys. We've got a lot of work to do, but uh, stay tuned.